I am Carrie Severson and I'm the founder of Severson Sisters. This one day we were talking about physical looks. How many of you think you're pretty? And like no one's hand went up in this one particular workshop. And we were like, well, okay, let's talk about that. Why don't we feel pretty? And there was one particular girl um, who just couldn't say the word. She didn't, couldn't identify herself as that. And if that's okay, that's, that's okay. Let's talk about other words that you can identify yourself with. And so we did, and then we went about our way. And at the very end of the workshop, one of the things that we make the girls do is write out a personal promise. I promise to be kind to myself and everyone around me the rest of the day. And her personal promise was that she promised to look herself in the mirror and tell herself she was pretty. And when that happened, I, I like gave her a high five when I turned around and I looked at my sister and I was like, your turn. Like I had, it was the first time I became like emotionally overwhelmed that we did that with that girl. That's, I don't think, I hope I, I hope I would take that with me forever. That's pretty cool. So we developed relationships with um, partner agencies, the Girl Scouts, Big Brothers, Big Sisters, Boys and Girls Club, Child Crisis Center. Those are our four big ones. Earlier this year, the Phoenix Mercury called and asked us to partner on this really fun event. It's a, a sleepover with the Girl Scouts at the Phoenix Mercury Arena, and that's July 13th, and they're expecting 500 girls. We have a lot of experience with the Girl Scouts. We've worked with them a lot this year, and so we're coming on July 13th and bringing our creative curriculum and our bullying solution component and going to work with these 500 girls so that they walk away with something fun about themselves um, to boost their self-esteem and then an actual action plan on what to do if they're addressed by a bully. So that's the first program we have coming up. When girls leave our program right now, they get um, a packet of information. But what we really want to be able to do is give the parents an opportunity to continue the good work so that they they have these tools to maintain what they've learned while they're with us. And that's part of the that's part of the ongoing support that we're actively trying to develop right now. Last year we actually met with two school districts. We've met with Kyrene and we've met with Madison. And they're both very interested in what we do and they're both actually really interested in bringing us into their schools. Kyrene specifically, that was part of the ongoing conversation that we have with them. They want to find a way for us to offer um, five to ten minutes worth of curriculum on a weekly basis in their schools. But again, that goes back to manpower where we physically, we physically need more people working as Severson Sisters staff. The first role is my role as the visionary, the CEO, um, and my job is to keep the ship moving forward. I, I like to refer to myself kind of as the captain of the Supergirls, and I'm doing all I can to make sure that we not only stay afloat, but we float above. I manage the day-to-day -day tasks. I write the structure and the business plans and the actual program pieces right now but eventually I want to be able to step away from the program um, pieces and just uh, keep the relationships going so that we are growing and we're working with the girls and we're serving the girls in the community to the best of our ability. Another person at the table is going to be the program director and they will manage the workshops and the volunteers and um, moving into the after-school component and the ongoing programs and really developing the curriculum pieces that will continue to move Severs and Sisters forward. The program director really will work pretty aligned with the policy director. From the very beginning, one of the best tips I got was make sure that everyone signs a no-secret policy so that if in conversation with a girl about what she likes about herself, if they, she happens to say she's starving herself because someone calls her fat. We're given permission to not only talk to her about that, but talk to her parents about that, talk to whoever it is we need to do. And we have had to do that. So the policy director is really gonna manage that piece to make sure that we are following guidelines here and working with counseling programs if we need them. And then there's the business development director, and that is the fundraising component. Uh, working with the event team, managing our dat database, individual donors, helping set up corporate partnerships and fundraising structure. And then there's the structure director. And the structure director is really the person that helps make sure that we're all working together and we're all on the same page. 
working with the um, the day to day, the websites, the volunteers, and uh, acting as the person that keeps us all sane. Those are the five roles I see playing out with Seaverse and Sisters. If Seaverse and Sisters continues to evolve the way it has, and as intensely and fabulously as it has, within the next five years, we could be in schools, we could be across the country, we could be on bookshelves, we could be in homes. Mm -hmm.